About to go for the first spin in the gun putt. Was not expecting this this morning. Also, we got ourselves a four point harness here, which adds to the drama like tenfold. <laughs> Morning from my last day in Hong Kong. It's been absolutely incredible so far, but I think today is about to top it off. Last night I received a very special message on Instagram from a guy who evidently has a very incredible car collection here in Hong Kong. And this morning we're up bright and early, seven o'clock, to join this man to see his beautiful collection and hopefully get some drives in a Gumpert Apollo. Made it down to the Apollos, and once again, it's also been organised by Supercars of Hong Kong. And this is Addy, hello, the man responsible for that fantastic account. Dude, thank you so much for everything so My far. Pleasure. It's been amazing. I'm happy man. for you to thank join you, thank me. Thank you. We've only been here a, a few days, and you've just made it really special. So thanks a lot. Thank you. But tell us a little bit about what's happening right now. As you see, we got yeah, man. Not one, two, but two <laughs> Gumperts. <laughs> two. Is it one's not enough? <laughs> yeah. um, double two. the fun. Yeah. Uh, and the one at the back is pretty special because it's an N. It's, it's an, an Apollo N, and N. It's a one of one. The yeah. only one, happily in Hong Kong. So. Yeah. And I th so from what I've seen, aesthetically it's fairly similar, but they've upgraded the interior to a digital dashboard. They have, which yeah. looks immense. Such a small tweak has made such a big I know. difference. Huge difference. And I think we're gonna get the opportunity to go for a spin in spin. one. Spin. Hit it, man. Let's do this. <laughs> About to go for the first spin in the gun putt. Was not expecting this this morning. Also, we've got ourselves a four point harness here, which adds to the drama like tenfold. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey guys. I'm, I'm with Norman. This is the fine gentleman that has invited me down to experience the gun putt. And there's also something significant about this man and that you bought the whole gun putt program. That's correct, yeah. Uh, we actually bought the car first. Okay. And then, uh, back in 2012. Yeah. Uh, without actually seeing the car because uh, we read about its record run and uh, neighboring yeah. uh, Top Gear track and so forth. Uh, and then, you know, when, when it came 2014, uh, we understand the company was in liquidation. Okay. Uh, a friend of us told. And then what happened was, uh, next thing, okay. Uh, are we able to take it up? Okay, yeah. we did. So, Great. so that's what we did. Uh, we bought the company, yeah. bought a new factory, okay. uh, and then uh, hired the best of engineers that uh, there are in Germany yes. and now in Italy to uh, reproduce the car. So the, the car is now being built in uh, Italy? Right. Actually, we have two factories, uh, one okay. in uh, Germany and one in uh, Italy. Nice. Yep. Okay, cool. So last Geneva, I saw the launch of the Apollo Arrow. Yes. So that was your guys' work? Yes, uh, that's out of Germany. Network. Out of Germany, yeah. and you might be giving us a little insight into something special that's coming later on in the year. That's right. Um, as some of you may have read from the, yeah. the magazines, we have now teamed up with an Italian company. Yeah. Uh, so the car is going to be even more radical uh, from the one that you saw in Geneva. Even more radical than that. Absolutely. Because the last yeah. Geneva, the Arrow was one of the best yeah. looking cars there. It looked fantastic. And you're taking it further than that. It's completely epic. Uh, the new car, it's 90% <laughs> different. Different. From the, different. I can't wait to see that, man. It's and, good. <laughs> and I'll show you a preview of that prior to the actual release. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks a lot. So we're talking to release that car uh, at Goodwood. Wow, yep. okay. Uh, you're going to hear and see about it. Fantastic. And it's going to storm the can't industry. Can't wait, man. Yep. You're going to love it. All right. Let's go for a ride, shall we? Let's hit it. So, wow. 
So one of the main differences between this and the N yeah. is that the dashboard sounds a subtle upgrade, but it makes such a big difference having the digital dash. It, it, it is, you know, uh, back then, you know, the founder, Roland Gumpert, he was an engineer. So he didn't really care about a lot of things uh, mm. aesthetics wise. Yes. So we, we, we improved it quite a bit, you know, in terms of outlook. And then what we did was uh, we also changed the clamshell. You know, now yeah. we're equipping with the new, you know, latest uh, G3 wings for, for air, uh, better aerodynamics. Basically, we are sat in a carbon tub. That's right. It's actually really comfortable. It's nice. Well, the thing is that uh, you have a pretty good physique. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's not bad. I'm not thinking I need to move anything. Okay. It's sort of, it's fundamental driving position. It's quite nice. It is, absolutely. Uh, it really has that emotion yeah. when you drive the car. Uh, it feels you're, you're so close to the ground. You can feel every thing yeah. that the road dictates. But what's, what's really nice about sitting into a tub is just it's such a sense of occasion, even before you've started it. Yeah. Putting on the harness, feeling that you're sat in carbon is such a great experience. It's, it's a whole experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really cool. I mean, aesthetic-wise, it's just mm, not, not so good, but driving-wise, sure, driving so it's yeah. pure, right? It's absolutely pure. I mean, there's no fancy technology like the hybrid, you know, uh -huh. electric stuff. It's just it's engine, just, chassis. It's just you and the car. Which these days is quite rare. Very rare. It, it, a lot of driving aid, which sometimes, you know, you, you don't know what to think about. Just hopped out of the Apollo S, and now we're in the one of one Apollo N. And this is Bailey, and Bailey is very kindly to take me out in this car. And this is the one that we were talking about earlier, where they made the upgrades to the digital dash. That's digital a dash. Big step forward compared with yeah, the that's old a race one. Mode oh, man, that's so dash. cool. So tell me a little bit more about this car and what's different over the S. We launched this car in the uh, the last Jenny Auto Show. Together we see the new Arrow. So this is basically the successor of the Apollo S. So Apollo S was officially crowned as the fastest car on the Nürburgring, and as well as the top gear sure. track. Wow. Then, uh, so this is the, uh, the N4 Nürburgring special version. Okay, cool. That uh, we try to uh, make a, the difference. Ah, so it's, and, N, uh, it's N for Nürburgring. So you've done digital dash upgrade, more downforce? Right, absolutely. So uh, more downforce to this car. And the, the wing is huge. Horsepower to this car as well. More horsepower. So yeah. how many horsepower is this one? So this car can pump up to uh, close to be 900 horsepower. Wow. Yeah, and the nine, S was crazy. But th this yeah, is more. Much more. And this um, is 950 uh, newton meter of torque. 950 newton meters. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Quite a fast machine. Fantastic. They have a new uh, gearbox, a new transmission to this car. Yes. So this differs from the uh, the, uh, the Apollo S. Okay. So this uh, gearbox, a seven gear sequential. Okay. But it uh, was uh, used for uh, the 20 sec yeah, gearbox. That's why the first gear is very long. That's so cool, right? message on Instagram saying that I'm coming to Hong Kong anyone want to meet up or recommend anywhere I can go so many people said here so they were oh, like absolutely. if you can go to this car park try your best to go to this so yes. here we are ah, okay. yeah this is the uh, modified by uh, right here that looks really good there is this, uh, oh, okay we have another gumpert here yeah. two gumperts so I'm seeing four gumperts in a day here just hopped out of the crazy Apollo N. Not two, but four Apollos spotted this morning. Had the privilege and honor of being able to passenger in two of them. But now we've been taken down to this underground car park. Now, guys who watch my channel regularly will know that I typically don't come from a car spotting background. But when the concept of the car park looks like this, I gotta share it with you. Find 
myself in practically brand spanking new Scuderia 16M, which I believe has only 800 kilometers on the clock. The guy who's just bought this hasn't even driven it yet. Uh, and he said I can get in and start it up because this for me is one of my favorite sounding stock Ferraris of all time. Uh, those of you who have watched previous videos will know that I used to own a Scuderia which didn't end too well. Uh, so yeah, it's cool to be back behind the wheel of this. I'm not going to drive it anyway, I just start it up and appreciate its beauty. Look at that! 801 kilometers as well. Such small mileage. Very cool. How cool is this? Literally met this guy last night and he's like, jump in the 16M. This place is amazing. So here we are. Beautiful 800 kilometer 16M. This is a speciality that you watched on the video last night. This thing's maybe one one all over again. It sounds so good and straight through Novatec exhaust as well. It sounds absolutely phenomenal. Actually, we and this guy have really similar tastes. RS6 and a 675LT. time saturated myself in cars and in the last few days change your clothes we're gonna hit the town go on a boat I finally made my way onto an authentic Chinese junk boat this thing is so cool it's like someone straight out of the movies the one thing that I've been captivated by since the whole time I've been here is how amazing this city is at night time. It seems to come alive. It has its own energy and a totally different buzz and a vibe that I really wanted to share with you. And I thought the best place to do it is get between both sides of the bay and show you what this amazing city is like and its full potential. As always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.